Uh, gee, Bender, how are you gonna get through these bars? I don't know, moron! Suppose I bend them? Uh, okay. <laughs> oh! Mommy, mommy! Santa's through the perimeter! This is it, kids! Take your suicide pill so you won't suffer! No! Wait! I'm the good Santa! I've got toys! At very reasonable prices! Don't listen to him! He's the father of all lies! And the uncle of all tricks! But I come bearing triominoes! Go for the shins! <laughs> One down. Oh. Well, hello there, handsome. Won't you have a cookie? Oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Ow! What's in these things? Why don't you slip into something more fiery? Remember, Professor, Bender is Santa, so we don't need to hurt him, right? Yes, yes, yes. You sound like a broken MP3. Ho, ho! Ow! Professor, don't you remember what I told you? No! Oh, I guess I can't. Everyone put on your seatbelts. <laughs> yeah, those things cost more lives than they save. Bender, are you okay? I don't know. I'll try to move my feet. There. I've finished fine-tuning my what-if machine. It can answer any what-if question accurate to within one-tenth of a plausibility unit. That's so plausible, I can't believe it. Who wants the machine to show them an alternate reality? Oh, oh, I want to know what would happen if I were human. I mean... Being a robot's great, but we don't have emotions, and sometimes that makes me very sad. <laughs> oh, <gasps> it worked! Eat at everyone who's never won a Nobel Prize, and that includes you, Amy. <laughs> so this is a human body, huh? Me? Hey! My antenna's gone! No, it just moved. I'm not getting good reception on it, though. Maybe if I wiggle it around a little. Bender, no! You'll make God cry! Well, let's see what kind of things this body can do. <laughs> hey, that's pretty fun! <laughs> Being human is great! Hooray! It's just like Mardi Gras! Whoa! This is awesome! Bender, you drank and smoked when you were a robot. But now it's bad for me! Woo! Speaking of which, try these nachos. Mm. Why didn't anyone tell me tasting things tasted so good? Oh, no. What's going on? That rhythm. It's doing something to my human butt. <laughs> <laughs> Bender, part of being human is having self-control. Oh my god! I bet I can eat nachos and go to the bathroom at the same time! No, oh god. God. Oh. Just let me go! Deactivated robot walking! We got a deactivated robot walking here! Hey Santa, when you see the robot devil, tell him I'm coming! Hey, that guy said to tell you that I heard him. Yes, there is, Bender. Bender was a lot of things to a lot of people. But looking back, the number one thing I can say about him is this. And simply this. Bender was my friend. What? That's it? Who are you? You're nobody. This is the worst funeral ever. I hope you're all happy. You've succeeded in convincing me life is worth living by showing how bad my funeral will suck. I know whose funeral we'll be attending next. Oh, stop. If you won't call that baby.
Hey, who's been messing with the radio? This isn't alternative rock, it's college rock. Oh, it must have been the new improved ship's personality software I installed. Yeah, it was me. It's a cute song. Listen, ship, no one changes my stations. I hope you have a good mechanic. It even comes with an adjustable voice. We each get one of the four buttons, remember, Bender? That was the deal. <laughs> what? Did you just say... <laughs> if you don't like the stations, you could just play with my buttons till you find something we both enjoy. Oh, gosh. That came out all wrong. Too late, baby. You said it. So will it be my place or you? Wow, Bender. Are you in the ship an item? I mean, I know you're both items, but... How can you date a ship anyway? It'd be like me dating a really fat lady and living inside her. And she'd be all like... <laughs> Fry, in order for me to get busy at maximum efficiency, I need a girl with a big 400-ton booty. Bender, dating your co-worker and primary mode of transportation is immoral, illogical, and a violation of Interstellar Shipping Statute 437-B. That's what makes it so nasty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Still, given the chance, I'd give in to urges far more shocking. <clears throat> Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. For the love of you, it won't be a stylish marriage. I can't afford a carriage, but you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. Of the planet Omicron Persei 8. Esteemed potentates of Omicron Persei 8, please accept these 20 billion candy hearts as proof that Earth loves you this much. <laughs> these candies are chalky and unpleasant. And what is this emotion you humans call love? Surely it says love. No, love with an Earth W. Behold! This concept of love confuses and infuriates us! Incoming torpedoes! Shields at maximum yard now! Steady, Planet Express ship! Focus on diverting all power to the scramjets! Ah, uh, look, Planet Express ship, this might not be the best time, but, well, I really like you and whatever, but I think we should just be friends. So we're cool? Space pirates! Space pirates? You know, pirates, but in space! Avast, mateys! Electronically transfer your space doubloons before I send thee to Davy Jarg's locker! <laughs> hey! Keep it down, you kids! I'm trying to take a nap! People of Osiris IV, please welcome a man who started as a slave, but worked his way up to Lord of all creation, our new pharaoh, Bender! Citizens of me, the cruelty of the old pharaoh is a thing of the past! <laughs> Let a whole new wave of cruelty wash over this lazy land! Yes! Hey! What, what did he say? Hear the word of Pharaoh! Build unto me a statue of ridiculous proportion! One billion cubits in height, that I might be remembered for all eternity! And be quick about it! Oh. 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 
Slowly, slave. Why are you not working? I am. I met yourself to death. Uh, Mighty Pharaoh, it hurts when I breathe. Well, then what do you think you should stop doing? Crawl, pigs. Ow! Uh, the Pharaoh uh, has spoken. Uh, okay. Your task is nearly completed. Don't let down Pharaoh now. Hey, uh, what's with all the pots and pans? You building a wife? Part of one. Meantime, I'm cooking up a tasty Sunday brunch for my best friends. Ah, <laughs> Uh, brunch. Right. I better warn, tell, warn, tell the others. Okie dokie. You are one narrow minded spaceship, Planet Express ship. Whoa, whoa. Why should my tax money pay for art I find offensive? Would you censor the Venus to Venus just because you can see your spewers? Oh, it's filthy. Why not create a national endowment for strip clubs while we're at it? Why not indeed? Bender, ship, stop bickering or I'm going to come back there and change your opinions manually. Fine. I'll be in my quarters appreciating controversial artworks. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Next, daring daylight robbery at a municipal swimming pool. Ooh, this is it. Turn me up. Earlier today, a foul-mouthed bandit robbed the municipal pool, making off with the contents of over three lockers. More like three lockers and a sink. Bender, did you have something to do with this? Of course not. Holy spits! He's sporting skin-tight Speedos. They don't leave much to the imagination. Actually, on a robot, they sort of do. One puny human got a look at the robber. Here we go, here we go! Describing him as a short, nasty, muscular... Yeah, make me famous, big head! Caucasian human male. What? Hey, now what am I supposed to watch and drink all day? This is an outrage! What's the point of pulling the biggest pool caper ever if nobody knows you did it? Yo, yo, Bazender, what up? My dumping business is booming. I just got hired to clean up the set of Free Willy 3. Bender, cut it out. First of all, the sewer mutants will be mad. Second, everything else that's horribly wrong with what you're doing. Ah, those stupid mutants can't do anything. You seem to be forgetting one simple fact. Namely, I'm up here, and they are safely down- <laughs> Whoa! Fame is mine! <laughs> <laughs> there. Now no one will forget how I live or my attitude regarding butt. All right, ladies, let's flush these artist loves straight to hell. I don't want to hurt Bender's feelings, but this food actually tastes better as vomit. It's unbearable. How much do you think it would cost to get my tongue removed? Ha <laughs> ha! 
And this time, I mean it. Eljar, I'm a walking pile of your unfinished business. Well, you yeah. Helmut Spargel has a message for you. He says, Ooh, I'm dead. Spargel, huh? What'd he do, bland himself to death? No. He was eating some food I made, and by a crazy coincidence, his stomach exploded. Now I'm here to avenge him. Okay, but it seems like you're the one who killed him. Maybe so, but you are his sworn enemy. I challenge you to a battle of the chefs. Whoa! <gasps> Very well. We'll meet on the ancient televised battleground of Kitchen Coliseum. Whosever meal is best will claim the title of Iron Cook. Iron Cook, eh? I can't lose. I'm 30% iron. You're going down. It's over. My dream of being a chef is deader than the cat I'm sitting on. Gus, old chum. Let's give a friendly welcome to this new robo. What did you call me? A robo, you know, a robot hobo. Oh, okay. I thought you said Romo. No offense intended, my filthy friend. In fact, why not join us and ride the space rails? Ready? We's gonna jump off at that switching prism up ahead. We're going nearly to speed of light, so uh, roll when you land. Uh, uh. Hey! Huh? Ow! I'll make Bender take a nap in a tube. <laughs> Come back when I've had some sleep, baby. Firing torpedo number three. Uh, uh. Yeah! That's not torpedo three. That's not torpedo three at all. Damn you, Fry and Lee! Ah! Too late, I realize that me children are me only real treasures. Mechanical man overboard! This Wang's Chung. After all the good we tried to do, Xmas turned out as rotten as ever. No heat. No power. Huddled together in fear like lice in a burning wig. Wait a second. Maybe your futuristic Xmas isn't so rotten after all. What are you talking about, you crouton? You said it yourself. Xmas should be about bringing people together, not blowing them apart. But don't you see? Fear has brought us together. That's the magic of Xmas. That's a big crock of... Hold me. 